It's red. It's blue. It's red. It's blue. It's red. It's blue. It's red. It's blue. Da ba dee da ba da. 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 Da. LOL. The sword just went through his nose, or his face, or his eye. Ew. So here we are, here we are in that old potion shop where you can buy for 100 rupees the ultimate potion, the blue potion, which restores my health and magic power. I thought I would, you know, I thought it'd be nice to have this. If not for the shadow temple, then at least for the spirit temple, which I'm going to do blind. Um, but I have a plan for it, just in case it goes too bad. Too bad. Do -do 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 Anyway, so, so last episode we got the lens of truth from the well, or as John Lennon would say. Thank you, John Lennon. Now, as you can see, it's daytime, yet there's no music. Why just stop the music? Why is there no music, huh? 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 Anyway, so, let's talk to this old man here. Well, face us, look at us. Look at the person who's talking to you, mister. A long time ago. There was a man in this very village who had an eye that said, Can't see the truth. The lens of truth? Now, usually, you have to train your mind's eye most strenuously to actually see the truth. But this fella, no, they say he had a different way of doing things. Oh, really? That's interesting. His house stood where the well is now. Oh. Could he. Could it be that. What happened to his house? Why is it. Shut up, Navi. What is it? Have you played? Have you played the knife in my shadow that she taught you? Later, Navi. Later. But yes, there's something about that weird man with the eye of truth. Could he have any other connection with the well and with all the execution devices down there? You know, like it was like a prison down there. Was he like? I mean, there's some Zelda theories about what this man could be and what the purpose of this man is. Um, like why? You know, trying to explain the nature of the well and all, but it's unanswered, but it's kind of interesting to keep note of that because there's, I guess, there's another theory that we are going to go into later on, but yeah, first of all, oh my god, this is a lot of torches and, ooh, it's like that, um, I Shika thing, but here, um, I, yeah, I Shika thing, yeah, I think somewhere here is like, um, a symbol for fire. Unless that is a symbol for fire, but the story is a long time ago, back when they were, you know, were making the game. Um, the developers actually planned for the medallions we collect the actual powers, so the fire medallion would actually be used to open the shadow temple door. Now it's a dense forest power, but like back then, you actually needed the fire medallion in order to open the shadow temple, but now you just use dense fire to enter. The Shadow Temple! Yep, here we are in the Shadow Temple. Of scariness. Of dead bodies. Of evil. EVIL! So much evil that we cannot see everything unless we have the Lens of Truth. The Shadow will yield only the one with the eye of truth. And it down in Kakariko Village. Yeah, yeah, cool story, bro. Anyway, so. There are a lot of boxes here. Let's pull out our Lens of Truth, just in case, right now. Let's put it out here. Anyway, so if you remember, I could use some magic. Do you believe in magic? So if you remember, back in the... Oh, clever Dan. Clever people. Listen to all the clever... This is for all the clever people. So you can actually... So yeah, you need to actually blow that up in order to access it. But guess what? You need a key. No, oh, no, no, no. Which is kind of a bad thing because that's where you normally go in your first, you know, when you first play the when you play the Shadow Temple on the original Ocarina of Time. Jeez. Anyway, so yes. So here's another puzzle we need to do. Make my big face the skull of truth. The alternate is the sun under the deep darkness. And by deep darkness, I mean they actually, you know, you'll fall and die. Like wee and die. So what I have to do is just point this beak. Um towards the right skull. The skull that's actually not invisible. I mean, it's actually there. Like if you use it lens of truth, it's not an illusion. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right? 
Well, aren't you facing the? Okay. Whatever you say. Anyway, so that opens this mount. Hey, that kind of reminds me of that one dude from that one mouse dude from the bottom of the well. But yeah. Um, so you may be wondering, how the hell am I supposed to get across from here? Like, normally you need the dungeon's item to get across, but the dungeon's item is, like, nowhere to be found. What is this actually where you actually need the fire arrow? That's right. The fire arrow is required in this game. This soon. And it suck at Aiming! I suck at aiming! I'm gonna do some bad in this one minigame soon. Oh, okay, that's good, that's good. But the effect is, it's super effective, and Ice Block appeared. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, we're kinda across this place already. Does it mean you can skip that one other place with the key? Well, we'll see for later. Now we're going down deeper into the black hole. That is the Shadow Temple. Deeper into the dungeon. So that's the Beamos. Hi. Bye. Die! Die! Thank you, die! Now. Um, I guess I can, can use the lens of truth to see that, well, all these rock walls are not rock walls, but this is an actual rock wall, but we don't care because we want to go through this invisible rock wall to go to this room. Hello, and oh my god, sharp blades. Sharp blades that can slice your heads off. And silver rupee puzzles. Oh my god. Oh, right. A skull right. But, um... What was I gonna say anyway? Well, fine, I can kill you. I mean, I guess there's. I guess people may wonder at least what the purpose of the Shadow Temple is. Like, is it a place where people are executed? I mean, some people say that this is a place where all the evil of all of the he, evil of high rule rests and all. And I don't know. Um, in all honesty, this temple is just creepy. But, I have to say, it's not as creepy as you'd think. And we are not getting secret to- Oh, get out of the way! I guess one thing you have to- cause like, I guess one concept of this temple that kind of scared me was the fact that there's, you know, sharp objects here. Like, blades, you know, the scythes and all. Like, you know, scythes- Okay. They okay, I guess killing all those godzillas would, you know, do that. Open the door. Open the goddamn door! But yes, in here is... Ooh, this is a pretty cool treasure. I wonder what it could be. I wonder. There's, it's either a map or... Okay, it's a map. Fine. Thank you. For the il illustra illustration and the knowledge. And the power. And the wisdom. And the courage. And the power. Now, check this out. It's saying something. It says, if you want to see a fairy to the other world, come here. Ooh, I want to see. I want to ride a fairy. I want to ride a boat to the other world. <laughs> anyway, so, we're not supposed to be here yet. Or are we? Actually, we kind of, in the original version of Ocarina of Time, you're not supposed to be here, but, um, you actually want to be here right now because, um, let me see. Wait, camera. Oh. Thank you for being invisible. I could use a compass right now because I can't see a thing. Um, wait. Herp. Oh, okay, I found it. I found it. Jeez, it's okay. So I guess what? I don't know. I blame it on the lighting. It's so goddamn dark here. I mean, what do you expect? It's a shadow temple. It's a shadow temple. Of course, it's goddamn dark here. But yeah, sorry about that little hiccup. I just blame it on... I mean, I knew where the treasure chest was. I knew that there's a small key here. It was just so far god freaking dark here. Not to mention you need the lens of truth to see the, you know, invisible treasure chest. But yes, stop justifying your stupid mistake. You're stupid, okay? That's the mistake. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I guess another way you can just dodge those scythes so like can just, grab, you know, using your shield to duck like this. And then you'll avoid getting your head sliced off by those evil rogue things and whatnot. Now, before we um, go into the store, let's e equip our Ocarina of Time for a good reason. Yeah, we're locked inside with Get Those! Get freaking those! Dun, 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 
the oh by the way I think this might be released on I think this might be released tomorrow today is the day before the release of Skyward Sword how many of you are gonna play the game how many how many of you are getting the game because guess what I'm not and it's not yet um, I'm not getting it right away I'm considering getting it for Thanksgiving break but I kind of want to work like during Thanksgiving break I want to I plan to a play um, you know record some more master quest and play more of the game that I plan to LP next but the thing is like I don't want to buy a scarlet sword get into it and then like you know stop playing it for school and then either bring it to me to my apartment where I'll most likely get distracted and my grades will suffer during final season or I can get it and then leave it alone for a few weeks and then I'll just keep on thinking about it and then you know I might have to awkwardly what I'm saying is I think I might have to get it during the winter break so I'm gonna wait oh, for about a month I mean I used to be not so excited about the game at all but these days I've gotten very excited about it very excited about it I mean they're also like you know publicizing how it's like one of the best game games ever like this could be like the best Zelda game ever like just totally redefined Zelda like what we've been doing with 3D Zelda games so far has been based on Ocarina of Time and it's kind of true like anyway, yeah I know I know like everything that they've been doing in terms of 3D yes I know oh yeah Shadow wait Hyrule's bloody history of hatred that's interesting interesting mister and look what we have here. Oh my god! Give those! I mean, we deads. Well, that's totally, um, that totally broke the mood by saying the wrong name, but zombies! How about that? We have friggin' zombies here. However, with the big, with the big morons. What is it? Okay, yeah, no, I know. Just die, 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 die. See? Big, the big goron sword just kills zombies. That's the best way to kill zombies. Not double tap. Not, you know, shooting them in the head with a shotgun, but with the big Goron sword. It's the ultimate anti-zombie, you know, thing. Anti-zombie, you know, thing. Wow. Great choice of words. We got a compass. Hey, we're not getting the dungeon item first. That's a new, that's a new thing. But, yes, um, as I was saying, like, Wind Waker, I mean, oh, look at here. Oh, yes, um, Hyrule's bloody history of hatred. That's what it's been saying when I keep on skipping the text! Skipping the text. But yes, here's another Song of Time block. Jeez, I've another one, of course. There always has to be a Song of Time block in every single Master Quest dungeon. But yes, as I was saying, like, Majora's Mask, when- I'll get you some of this stuff. Never mind. Yes, I know, I know. But as I've been saying, um, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, like you think that they've been kind of basing it off of um, Ocarina of Time, like it was as if they're they've been basing those games off of Ocarina of Time and its greatness. But what they're saying about Skyward Sword is that um oh fine. I mean, what you're supposed to do to stop those fire things are you're supposed to like shoot the arrow at the eye when it's open. But guess what? This is not real. That's it. That's a natural eye switch, and the effect of that is. Um, let's see here. If I use my lens of truth here. Unless it go like... So normally there's like a block of ice blocking our way. But since we shot that eye switch, it's gone. So yes, what I've been saying is... What they're saying about Skyward Sword is that... They're being completely original here. Like, they're not going to be influenced by Ocarina of Time at all. It's a complete... Oh, fire! Well, fine. You get my picture. I'm excited for, I'm excited for Ocarina of Time and... No, I mean Skyward Sword, I mean, and dear lord, dead hand!